Hey guys, welcome to TechHunt. Today we are going to look at uh, how to remove encryption from your solid state hard disk. Uh, this usually is done when your SSD is uh, encrypted with WinMagic software. Usually when you buy your ThinkPad laptops, uh, X240, X250 or T450, T470, your BIOS or your hard disk will be logged with your WinMagic tool. Therefore, if you remove the hard disk, your system will boot up with an alternate one, but this hard disk will not be even detected in any other laptop or desktop. Sometimes a pop-up a pop up may show saying that WinMagic folder, but after that the hard disk will discredit itself. What do you do? Alright, so this has been a very hot issue for a long time. Most people don't are not aware of how to fix it. What you need to do is you need to go to this particular link which is already there in the description folder right um, and download the file the file is stwinpe64 okay this is the file you need all right so once you download the file this is an iso file it's about 200 mb so when you download it it will take some time based on your bandwidth so once it's done you need to uh, format your uh, part, make your hard disk, so make your uh, pen drive bootable. So we are booting from F12, right? So it's preparing one time boot menu, and then we need to select the pen drive that we have, which is usually your USB storage device. Alright, guys, so this is the PSID that I was talking about. Okay, so this is the PSID WT9, alright? So what we'll do right now is we will connect your uh, SSD to the thing. Alright, so let's open the SD recovery. This will take a while because now you're booting from the pen drive and you've connected a hard disk. Hard disk, so this will take some time, so don't worry. Once this tie appears, the reading disk status will go away and you'll have your list of SSDs. So you need to select this is the pen drive that the hard disk that we are having, Samsung. Uh, MZ, MZ 7LN256 hard disk. So you need to select the drive. Now, if your hard disk is logged with encryption, you would see a highlighted blue button here, like this blue. You need to click over here and type in your PSID number that I told you before, and it will unlock itself. And after that, you can just format it using disk management from normal Windows, and you have your SSD working. I hope this has been informative. Have a nice day. Bye bye.